This is my very first video. I'm so excited. I got more, lot more to share with you guys. Today I'm going to show, tell you how to get this realistic look using Element 3D. And I got a good news. I'm going to give you this 3D model for free. And I will mention the link later in the video. So stay tuned. I got a lot of things to share with you guys. I'm so excited. Let's begin. Let's begin. So I'm using here After Effects 2018. It's, it's fine with the version if you're using 19 or uh, 20 or 2021 or any version which is support. Element 3D would be fine. So first of all, we're gonna recreate this shot. I'm gonna do, tell you how to do it. So first of all, we're gonna create a new composition. All right, we're gonna name it Massage Animation. So I'm gonna select my uh, resolution. You can change it if you according to your requirement. It's fine. You can change it in any way. So square pixel. It's fine. And I'm gonna frame. I'm going to frame it for 30, for smoother than 25. If you want 60, or it's fine. More frame rate, more smooth. So duration 10 seconds it's all fine and i'm gonna wait okay here we have our composition so we can start we are using element 3d so to add the uh, add the plugin i'm going to create a solid name it ready right let's go and we go to effect section video copilot and element 3 right we have added the plugin now we are gonna import our 3d model so before importing our 3d model i'm going to tell you some things about creating 3d model after you finish up the model you need to add different shaders to different section of the model so you will have more control to change the colors and the shader behaviors everything back in after effects right i'm gonna export it Select your 3D model, file, export selection, and here I will add as Sarger. Select OBJ. We are using OBJ because Element 3D will only support for OBJ files. So we have to go with the OBJ format and select and have export. So Done. Go back to uh, After Effects. So here the scene setup. Click on Import. You have Massager. Okay, here we have the 3D model, and we're gonna scale it up. Go and tick on this normalize size. You will scale it up if you want to change the scale, it's fine. You can adjust from here. So, I will put it like this and scale it a bit more 50. And now, this is what I have mentioned earlier. So, you have now control on adding different shaders. Now, to control this, we need to have a camera, a light -like camera, and a background. Why? I'm gonna add background here. white color. So, just in case, if you, if I want to add the sun ready ramp, so I'm gonna have a control in that. Yes. So 
still no uh, adjustments to the lighting to the shaders and all not been done so I'm gonna start doing it by light influence I'm gonna make it zero exposure I'm gonna gain it and you can see the bounce and this, this, these things are coming from the HDRI we have used in Element 3D inside the software so it will give a cool studio look so I'm gonna add my gamma as 1.4 and I will set it up to cinema you can play around with this thing in gravity and 360 and one anything 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 you like so go with cinema i will go with cinema for this thing this thing and for ambient occlusion i will add i will raise it up a bit more so more realistic you oh, can change it later so then I will go back to the environment here you gonna play it if you add more lighting lines these are these are highlights more highlights that will reflect uh, your product more realistically because in a studio like like in a studio so I suggest you to gain this Tweak this up for maybe two or three or change. If you if you, you can you can add if you have custom uh, HDRI, so you can try this, try these and these also. So they give you different settings. In this case, we are using white background. So I suggest you to go with something white. So we select the default. Uh, default. Uh, HDRI and locate. So, and, okay. Now you can see the difference before the HDRI change, after the change, before and after. See the highlights you have again. So now we can adjust this, adjust the lighting condition. So we in here we don't have use any light. We only using the HDRI to control the lighting of this thing. So get some reflection on the top and like this. Yes. And the Y axis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I guess this will be perfect. So I have a bit of problem with this material. I'm gonna go and change it again. Yeah, I would like to have a bit of more sliding effect than these things have. So I'm going to go back. And adjust the glossiness to go down 20. Yeah, just Yeah, that would be great. So you can see the progress. Uh, tweak through these and change these, these, these things that will be, give you a massive change and a big, uh, big difference to your project. 
use these things so I'm going to change again the lighting there you go yeah that will be put it on good all right now we gonna add some details up here which will show you more realistically than and some gauges or buttons plus minus play with it then you can see the final output and we gonna go to environment again and just this and then come back right 3 Right. Now we're gonna do some adjustments again with the x-axis. Today I wanna move these settings so we need to get them. Very big idea. You can see now you can see the look if you want um, to give a movement or animation you can set it up before that I'm going to show how to add the depth so to do that turn on the depth of field and then go to your element 3d really depth of field take this focus indicator so you can find the focus now it's not in the correct position right cool. in this red section this is this focus focus bar and this is the deep focus bar so in this shot we are more focusing on this display so we're gonna go with more focus on the here so we're gonna put our focus up here this clean solid bit means that you have good focus in here so the shaders will be nicely element 3d and then go focus indicator and exit button so you can see the difference now this section is focused, this is blurred, so unreal, it looks like a bit unrealistic. So according to this shot, if you got this shot done with the lens we have used roughly like a 30, 35mm. So if that 35mm blur like that in kind of that position so that's why it's not like a bit unrealistic so to adjust that we can you can adjust that focus distance and, and adjust the aperture aperture to add to like 55 here yeah. that will be fine or 80 Yep. Now it is getting more realistic. Now we can add an animation. So
in here i have also changed some and add uh, done some tweaks more tweaks to the uh, uh, the hdri here right so you can see and then settings yeah. what here we go so let him um, light on the sides That would be great. So just turn on now. You can turn on the depth of field. Yeah. Now it's perfect. All right. See, this is a, this is what I have mentioned. You can do various various things with the changes HDRIs and also I suggest you about this. You need go to your materials. Even that can be having the environment. You can have an HDRI to here. That will bounce more light to here and react. It will react like that. We have added an HDR. I think if you have want to add a different light show to here, but you want to get that bounce from the uh, environment, you can add texture. Go to that material and add the texture. Simple task. So, in this tutorial, I we have used only. Um, very very basic skills very basic uh, very basic options so you can change the environment xyz axis and get different different lighting also if you need to add extra lights you can add extra lights now it's for the good news now i'm gonna tell you how to get this 3d model go to 3dtag.com and go to the obj you will find this 3d model and it's totally free for you and i'm gonna give you more more experience more tips and tricks and more things for free to you and i will share with you with the next videos so hit the subscribe hit the notification button if you have any problems any things to share comment below i will i will definitely come to you and stay safe see you soon